Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to use concatenation to um, link some tables in your ClickView script. So for example, this is the original dashboard we've been working on um, and this is all based around on... I'm just going to control me into the script here. Original test data file which is coming from my C drive as a ClickView test file and then that's linked to a file for the country and its flag, so I flag the colour. I just apologise in advance for the background noise. Um, my wife is watching some comedian on telly, so apologies for that. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring in another file. And it's called Click View Test File Salesperson. So I'm going to click Next. Next again, and the embedded labels is what I'm going to choose because it's taking in country of origin, profit, or just place salesperson, salesperson's ID. Click next and finish. So I'm going to reload the script with that. Uh, you can see nothing much has changed. However, if we go into um, the table viewer, since we've loaded that, in fact, if I'm just going to click OK and go back into the script. This is what we've just loaded, we've loaded um, this piece of information here, so I'm going to uh, comment that out and reload. Click OK, so if I go into the table viewer now, you can see the flags and the test data information we've been working on for the last number of months is perfectly matching. There's no synthetic tables, There's nothing's going to cause any problems. So just click OK, so again if I go back into the script, I'm going to uncomment um, what we brought in earlier on. Reload the script. Let's click OK and press Ctrl and T. And you can see now it's getting really messy. We've got all sorts of problems here with synthetic tables. And I'm only using ClickView 10 months, but um, this has caused me many problems. Um, I'm going to show you how to fix that by using concatenation. So click OK. You can see we've got test data, which just three fields, or country of origin, profit or is placed and that's creating a synthetic table between the new file we brought in and it's very simple what we're going to do is in the script, this is our test data which is not going to change um, and it's coming from this location that's our directory for the flags and that's not going to change this is our new information so what we're going to do just before that we're going to get rid of the directory I'm going to type con, which will bring up the option for concatenate. Open parentheses, square brackets, close square brackets, and close parentheses. And in the middle of that, we're going to click, we're going to type in test data. So basically, what we're doing is because we have a number of fields here that are named the same, as in orders, place, and profit. It's causing a, it's causing an issue between each file. So we're going to concatenate the test data with the, the loaded information from test file salesperson. Um, we've just done it there by removing the directory, putting in concatenate test data. Click reload. Click OK. And if you go into control and T again, now you can see it's a hell of a lot better than it was before. Um, and you can see we now have our two new fields, which is salesperson and sales, salesperson ID. So I'm just going to quickly go through. This is the new file that we brought through, which is country of origin, profit, or just place, salesperson, salesperson ID. This is our original file. And because we have got a couple of column headers named the same, it's causing problems within our um, within our script and it's causing synthetic tables and synthetic tables are bad news so that's pretty much how to oh I'm going on to my click view page I need to go back onto the that's pretty much it how to use concatenate within the script and I hope that's made as simply as possible for you and if you have any uh, any ideas, any tips for me, please post them, please give me comments, please uh, let me know how I'm doing, um, and that's pretty much it, see you next video, cheers.